and conductor of Union Railroad. And then you can buy us a house, and you can buy us a couple of cars. Oh, I'm only six years old and my debt's already piling up. Uh-oh. What does Alice see? Oh, look, it's Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Oh, yeah, well, what goes around comes around, bucko. Disputing over who should ride the tricycles certainly spoils their play. It isn't any fun. A young Frito Bandito. Someone's likely to be hurt. And just think, all this time they could be having fun on the tricycle. No, yes, it's too late for that. To Get off my tricycle. Quickly and fairly. And so Eddie offers to help settle this one. But you should duel the for it. All to himself. Eddie, that they share the tricycle. And remember, Eddie, women's That's live is a reality. That's than disputing over it, isn't it? I'm going to do a wheelie we and get this, this way bum off of my back. A compromise. That's when neither has his own way entirely. Watch those hands, Billy. In a little and share the bike. And here's another way to compromise. Take turns driving the bike. Often as we oh. play... What would you do to the alignment to this car, woman? Every time I get dispute. on after you... But did you know that there are different kinds of disputes? and different ways to settle them. Like Russian roulette. Let's watch for them as we go on to school. Having kids will be great, won't it? No. On the school grounds, Eddie and Jerry rush off to play ball. You're a girl. You jump and rope. And Alice goes to play jump rope with the others. She doesn't try to break up the game. She shares and waits her turn. Compromises are one way to settle some disputes quickly and fairly. <laughs> Why is the teacher jumping rope? I'm just one of the girls. Who shall drink first at the fountain? <laughs> Meanwhile, Jerry and Eddie are playing work up baseball. Oh, Bill really hit that one. Good catch, <laughs> Jerry. And the rule is Triple play. Jerry gets the bat next. <laughs> And Bill changes places with Jerry in the field. But, so Bill wants to use Jerry's I, new glove. We'll hit you with this bat so Jerry hard. Jerry won't let him. <laughs> we are getting into some Lord of the Flies territory right now. How would you settle this dispute? Definitely well, a wedgie. Well, belongs to Jerry, so he can share it or not as he likes. Since Jerry's glove is just new, we can't blame Jerry now. We'll blame later, him later. If the glove is not so new, he'll probably agree to share the glove. The bat and ball, though, belong to Look, the, the glove doesn't even fit. So we all do share them. Well, if the glove the does not fit, you so must here's quit. another way to settle some kinds of dudes. Obey the rules. Use a weapon. There are rules about common property we share, such as the ball and bat. And rules about personal property, such as Jerry's glove. And gym lockers. There are rules for playing games, and many other kinds of rules. If we know and obey the rules, many disputes can be settled quickly and fairly. But it still won't stop you from looking like a dork running around the bases. It's the rule that this part of the playground is for the little folks only. So if we <laughs> all obey the rules, we won't have many disputes. Just lots of dizzy midgets. There's a rule that all bicycles... No, 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 get that one. Get, 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 get the other, get the shit the other. Get the one. Hey, is that my swin? And when it's time to go into school, there are rules about which doors to use and which way to go inside. Rules are planned to help us prevent problems and disputes. There's another kind of dispute that can be settled in another way. Like, like sexual harassment with a hot teacher. That's mine over you saw it. I did not give it back. Wait a minute, Alice. Are you sure you didn't leave your notebook in your desk? Oh, what? Have you been looking at my desk? I'm sorry, Heather. I made a mistake. That's all right. I got mine yesterday. What caused this dispute? Hormones. It happened because Alice didn't have all the facts. We need to find the facts. 
Alice's notebook was in her desk. <laughs> Did Jimmy let his arm atrophy? Just like hers. These facts are all that are needed to settle the dispute. So let's remember to find the facts. Gold Sometimes digger. we have to hunt for the facts. This way. Miss William. Die! A bandersnatch. A what? A bandersnatch. There isn't any such thing. There isn't even any such word. There isn't. In two. fact, you don't it's even exist. Miss William, isn't there such a word? <laughs> No, Where you're you stupid. We could, we could look it up in the dictionary. Yes, let. Jerry and Betty don't oh need to argue. The size of they that can dictionary. easily find out who is right. Find the facts, and you can settle the dispute. Bandersnatch. <coughs> A fabulous animal in Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. See, that's where I read about it. What, do you read the dictionary? Does that mean it isn't a real animal, just a made-up one? In this case, yeah. Just like your there hopes and dreams. It does help to find the facts. Morning. I want you to start thinking about choosing a representative for the playground committee. And stop undressing me with your eyes. The committee will help decide what kinds of equipment to buy and what safety rules to make for the playground. Like no more now barbed wire at the bottom of the to slide. Our class on that committee. I choose Lee Harvey Oswald. Yes, because he can play baseball like anything. And besides, he's got a new baseball glove. Yeah, Jerry's a good choice. We want someone who knows a lot about games. Is or this how George Bush got elected? So we want someone <laughs> who gets along with people. So I think it should be Eddie. Eddie knows how to tell lies. Oh, he can play hope she grows into her well, beauty too. someday. Let's put Eddie on the committee. George Bush! How shall we choose our representatives? How shall we settle this? How can this dispute be settled? Well, we know some different ways of settling disputes. But Will one of who's them talking? Here? A compromise helps settle some disputes. No, no, no. Bit, Something about killing someone. Would you have one of those? But how would a compromise help choose between Eddie and Jerry? They can't Who both be on the committee. Talking? And they can't take turns. No, that won't help. Obey the rules. Or die. Well, some disputes can be settled this way. But the only rule to follow oh, in choosing a representative not a good is idea. to choose the best person for the job. Who is best? How can we decide? What about finding the facts? That's often a good way to settle disputes. Joe Friday knows something about that. But we need that. more than the facts here. Jerry knows more about games, and Eddie knows more about getting along with people. Someone should check Jerry for lights back we there. Do. We need a different way to settle this problem. I have an idea, Miss Williams. We want either Jerry or Eddie to be on the committee. You tell us which one you think it should be, and he'll be the one. Well, I could do that. Sometimes we do use a judge or arbiter or an umpire to give us... Why is the arbiter dancing? <laughs> oh, miss the call again. you mean an election. Let's the one. There we are. That's a good idea. <laughs> I elect Alice myself. And Betty will count the votes in the election to find the opinion of the class. Often we need to find opinions you to settle our disputes. Sometimes you'll want the opinion of some expert or judge. Sometimes you'll want to take a vote to get the opinion I'll of the I'll let you to pull vote. my finger. Finding opinions is the way we settle many important questions. That's the and way we'll settle smells, this question. And he smells, and he smells, they all smell. Now let's see. Jerry gets 12 votes, and Eddie? Fifteen waffles. Eddie wins. So he's elected to be on the playground committee. And look, this dispute was settled fairly. And so Jerry and Eddie are still good friends, just as they always were. Until it's Eddie still is Jerry's girlfriend two months later. But such is life. <laughs> I guess.
guess that's it. Must live happily ever after, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. So.